Alright guys, I got another request, the S23 Ultra versus the S20 FE. And honestly guys, I don't really think you need to upgrade your S20 FE right now. Um, it could be a pretty good upgrade maybe a year or two from now. Uh, but if you do decide to go ahead and upgrade, let's go over the pros and cons. Because the S20 FE, considering the price it is right now, $200 to $150, uh, you can find it for it. it's still an extremely good phone so let's go ahead and dive into it so let's start off with the build quality now this is a pretty pretty nice upgrade here the build quality is just much better on the s23 ultra it's a full glass and metal device the s20 fe is a plastic bag and then has metal rails so it doesn't feel super cheap but you could definitely feel the difference uh you know from a full glass and metal phone so it does feel a little bit more uh, premium now the s20 fe is definitely way more comfortable to hold as well the s23 ultra has these really sharp boxy edges the s20 does not and then you just have an updated design of course that looks a little bit more uh, modern now both of these phones actually have uh, ip68 dust and water resistant so that is very nice and what's pretty cool about the hardware with the s20 fe is that you actually do have SD card support which the S23 Ultra does not so to me that's gonna be a major downgrade for some people not having that expandable storage so it is something to definitely think about the only thing you could possibly do is you know you have to pay more to get a bigger storage like this is 512 gigabytes but you don't have to pay extra because the base on the S23 Ultra is like I believe it's 128 still now you are getting an S Pen now so it depends on if you find the S Pen useful. Like I use it for like grocery lists. If you are a digital artist, it's extremely accurate. I've seen people on YouTube do amazing artwork with this phone. So uh, that's definitely something to consider if you find yourself using it, or if you really just want to use it as just a normal, you know, stylus to just navigate with. And Samsung has a ton of software that I think uh, you would like. Uh, but it really depends. Some people who buy this phone don't use the S Pen at all. So I think it's pretty, uh, you know, handy for the most part, especially if you're a content creator, uh, you take the S Pen out, you can be at a distance, click record with the button right here or, you know, record video or something. So I think it is useful. All right. So let's talk about the display. So the S20 does have the Super AMOLED 120Hz HDR10+. It's 6.5 inches, so it's a little bit smaller. And then you also have a 1080p resolution, 407 for the PPI. The S23 does have the dynamic AMOLED display. It's 120 Hz HDR10 Plus. Gets a max brightness of 1750 nits, 6.8 inches, and it's 1440p 500 for the PPI. So you can see here, basically, you can see slimmer bezels on the S23 Ultra. It's pretty apparent there. Uh, they both have the same punch hole. Uh, to me, the color-wise, they look almost exactly the same, honestly. And they're both 120 Hz as well, too. So. I think the main upgrade here is the slightly brighter display outdoors, you know, in direct sunlight. Um, but other than that, both displays look awesome. Like I said, even though the S23 is 1440p, um, unless you're going to be looking at a lot of 1440p content, it's not going to really make too much of a big deal. And just looking at them straight on, uh, they just both look pretty much identical, very sharp. Now, if you do come up close, right? The S23 does look a little bit sharper, but you would have to really like come up close. Um, but other than that, guys, the displays on both these phones are still great. So let's talk about the specs a little bit more here. So S20 FE, Android 13, uh, Snapdragon 865 chip on here, and then the base is 128 gigs. Internal storage, 6 gigs of RAM. The S23 uh, also has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, and then we also uh, have the 512 gigabyte version here and 12 gigs of RAM. All right, so basically you don't really need to upgrade for speed in my opinion, especially for the average person, it would be pretty useless. Um, the S20 FE is extremely fast still in 2023. So you can see it's pretty much on par with the S23. It's just very fast phone. So if you're a gamer, you know, a casual gamer or something like that, I really wouldn't upgrade honestly like it would have to be somebody who was actually like a hardcore gamer to get the most out of the the GPU here otherwise I just don't see it like yeah it'll up you know it'll load up applications 
slightly faster. Maybe like, uh, let's open PUBG. Like PUBG, it might open this up a little bit quicker. Um, but as far as like just playing games, the S20 FE does an amazing job. I have a full gaming test if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm just, as far as, you know, you guys got to remember, these old flagship phones are meant to last a very long time. So that's basically what you're seeing here is that it still can keep up. So you can see S23 Ultra got in there extremely quick. All right, so when we're in PUBG, you can see the S20 FE is still able to do a fantastic job um, playing at HDR Extreme 60 frames, and it's a very smooth experience. That's why I said you don't really need to upgrade this phone if you're looking for just a good gaming experience because it's still fairly fast, and also it's still pretty efficient as far as not getting hot. I think the A65 is an extremely efficient chip, and you can see you know basically same settings on the S23 very fast able to keep 60 frames super cool uh, device the only thing I would say here as far as the gaming experience goes like if you play a lot of games the battery life is definitely much better on the S23 um, but other than that you know I just don't see the the reason to upgrade there as you got these speakers max volume So overall you do have a louder and more clear sound on the S23 and the S20 does sound pretty good but you can definitely uh, tell the difference there. Uh, just overall improved speaker and much louder. Also both these phones have of course NFC and they both have wireless charging as well too and reverse wireless charging. That's why I said they have a lot of the same uh, features still. Uh, the fingerprint scanners on both of these are very fast um, so no issue there you can also use face unlock on both of these as well too so no big difference there alright so this is probably one of the bigger upgrades here that I think is a deciding factor and it really comes down to the steels um, too as well so the S20 FE has a 12 megapixel standard and it also has a 8 megapixel telephoto lens that does 3x optical zoom and it does all the way up to 30 times digital um, and then you also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, it shoots in 4K 60, and then a 32 megapixel selfie cam that shoots in 4K 60 as well. So it's a pretty big upgrade here. Uh, so I would say if you take a lot of pictures, but only if you take a lot of pictures, I would say, you know, it's kind of worth the upgrade, especially if you like the zooming capabilities of the S23 uh, Ultra. So the S23 has a, just a more beefier camera, it's 200 megapixels, so if you take pictures, you crop into it. Uh, you just see more detail. 10 megapixel periscope telephoto does 10x and then you also have another 10 megapixel telephoto lens on here as well and that does a 3x optical 12 megapixel ultra wide. There's a macro mode. It shoots an 8K 30 and then you also have a 12 megapixel selfie cam that also shoots in 4K 60. So check out the side by side stills. Let me know if you guys see an upgrade, uh, you know, upgrade worthy as far as the photos go. Here's the S23.6, 
3x. And 10x. Super sharp. S20 FE. Or 0.5. 3x. Alright, so again, here's the biggest upgrade in my opinion. The S23 Ultra has some of the best battery life. You know, right now it's just amazing battery life. So this phone has a 5,000 milliamp battery. 45 watt fast charging can easily, easily get you uh, two days of battery life for a light user. You will notice the battery difference pretty much instantly uh, when you get this phone. Uh, it's just it's a lot better than uh, last year for sure and then the s20 fe while it doesn't have bad batteries it's got a 4500 milliamp battery slightly slower charging at 25 watts uh, battery life is still pretty good you can average around six hours of screen at one time out of this phone um, so not bad at all but if you're looking for a significant a battery is a top priority this is a pretty a pretty big upgrade um, this year they really nailed the battery life so Overall, I think that it's a good upgrade. You get more cameras, right? Beefier specs, better battery life, better design. But is it a necessary upgrade? I don't think so because the S20 FE, as we saw, it just performed really well in pretty much all these categories, right? Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.